Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the 4K digital version of 2020's horror film, Spell. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at MovieGuy365. Okay, the 2020 horror thriller film Spell is now on digital platforms. It is, of course, available on iTunes and Vudu for whichever version you plan on picking up. It is released by Paramount Pictures, and it runs at about an hour and a half, so it actually moves at a pretty brisk pace. As far as the movie itself goes, it kind of reminded me a little bit of Stephen King's Misery, but with a little bit of a supernatural twist to it. It's not a direct adaptation, of course. It tries to stand on its own, and I think for the most part, the atmosphere alone really kind of sets itself apart from that film. I enjoyed it. It actually moves really good. The running time is pretty short and sweet, and there's a lot of interesting characters and just overall elements of the story that I really liked. It, it's good. It's a little bit dark, of course. It has a uh, dark setting to it, but that plays a little bit well into the uh, video picture quality that I'll discuss in a moment. If you like a good atmospheric film, Spell will definitely bring that to the table. It's a good horror film. I think you should definitely check that out. Okay, now we're going to talk about the picture quality and the audio. The 4K digital version of Spell has a 239 aspect ratio. It was shot digitally and it includes HDR10 and Dolby Vision for the grading. For purposes of this review, I will be talking about the Dolby Vision encode utilizing the iTunes digital platform. Shot digitally, Spell produces a very clean looking print. There's no real digital noise or any kind of artifacting that can be detected and overall it's a very pleasing looking image. There is a slight bit of color desaturation throughout the movie, but that's more or less an artistic choice and not a fault of the image quality. As for the Dolby Vision application, this really relies on a whole lot of enhancement and shadow detail in black levels, and it does so very nicely. Those nighttime dark interiors, they all are rendered very well. There's a little bit of light contrast that comes through, and it looks appropriate. One doesn't bleed into the other. As far as color palette goes, once again, it's a slight desaturation, but when it does come on screen, it's pretty noticeable, and it more or less takes on a bit of a natural tone to it. There's not going to be any visual flair, uh, a little bit with the uh, fire in a couple scenes, but for the most part, it looks really good, and I don't think you'll be disappointed in that area either. Level of detail is nicely enhanced here. Skin textures, clothing, the architecture, the rooms, they all look good. And I think it really brings out the extra benefit utilizing Dolby Vision. The picture quality of Spell is very good. It has a nice atmosphere to it. The whole movie is very creepy looking and the Dolby Vision complements it very nicely. The 4K digital version of Spell utilizes a Dolby Digital 5.1 audio mix, and I have to say, it is very impressive. There's a lot going on in the movie itself. It has a very atmospheric tone to it, and there's plenty of use of the surround sound environment, and it really just sounds very good in your home theater. Center channel with dialogue comes through clean and clear, no issues to report in that area. Even during the more chaotic moments, it all comes through very well. The front channels, they handle a lot of the action, and it does a very good job at conveying what's on screen very nicely. The rear speaker placements are also utilized very well. The surround sound environment really brings a whole layer to the atmosphere. There's a lot of ambience, some of the quieter moments are well rendered, the musical cues, it's all done very nicely. It has a good just feel to it, and it actually adds a whole other kind of element to an already good sounding audio mix. The LFE is also fairly aggressive throughout the movie. There's a lot of great moments where it does come to life. In particular, the plane crash scene, make great use of it. And it has a good overall accentuation of what's happening on screen. And it does a great job in that area. For the picture quality, I'm going to give Spell on Digital 4K an A-. It's a very clean looking image overall, and the HDR and Dolby Vision really bring out a lot of the atmospheric highlights here in a great way. I think it's an overall very good looking picture. For the audio presentation, I'm going to give it a B+. I think the real winner here are the rear speakers. There's a great use of atmosphere, music. It all comes through very nicely. And I feel that the low end is also well utilized. There's a lot of great moments there. And of course, just the front end action is really good as well. So that is my review of Spell on Digital 4K. Let me know in the comment section below if you checked it out for yourself, what did you think of the presentation? In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. 
So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.